Hello. We're looking at background patterns for the browser, browser background. And in the last video, we saw that a pattern that touches the top left and right sides of the canvas but does not touch the bottom side is tiled horizontally, which is fantastic. Um, uh, similar, or if we have a pattern uh, that, or layer rather, that is using the pattern overlay that touches all four sides of the canvas, such as this one here, it will be tiled in every direction. It will be tiled um, uh, horizontally as well as vertically. So let's just go ahead and see what that looks like real quick. I've uh, got the pattern, named it Browser Background, turned off the other one. We'll uh, open up SiteGrinder and build this very quickly. So these two options are two of the most common. They're not the only options that we'll see for working with the, um, and here we can see, and there we have it. No matter how big or small the browser window is made, this one is filling it in all directions, vertically and horizontally. So that's, uh, uh, that is fantastic. Uh, so that's another option. All right. so we are sometimes asked, well, how do we do both options together? Like, if I wanted this to have the blue dots uh, fill, uh, no matter how big the browser is made, and have this one stretch uh, just horizontally across the top? And the answer is that you can't do that. The browser has only one background setting, and so we have to choose the type of background that we want to apply to it. Now, the, the best way to, to get around that um, would be to create the illusion, which would be to define a new pattern that is something like what I'm selecting here now. One that is not the full height of the canvas because uh, we don't want it to repeat vertically, uh, but is instead the correct tile to repeat horizontally. So for example here, um, this tile, I'm not exactly sure I've selected it correctly, but if I have, it would repeat horizontally with both a um, swath of blue dots below and the gradient and stripe above when repeated horizontally. So that would work um, in the main. Now, of course, if this page content grew particularly tall, the pattern would not repeat um, vertically, and uh, nor would we want it to because we don't want that stripe to repeat again. Um, and so it would run out. And so you would want to, in this particular case, maybe set a background color um, that when, when the tile runs out down below would be a good enough replacement. So we'll look at some few more uses of the browser background layer in the next video. Thank you.